Even though Abdu'l-Bahá spent almost an entire year touring around North America, the official public on paper reason for his visit to America was his formal invitation to speak at one specific event called the Conference on International Arbitration. It was essentially a conference on world peace that was being held at a place called Mohonk Mountain, this beautiful property uh, in the countryside in New York State. And Abdu'l-Bahá was invited to be a guest speaker at this conference. And it's interesting that whenever Abdu'l-Bahá spoke about the subject of world peace, he always emphasised the importance of gaining an understanding of true human nature, which he, he always asserted was spiritual, that we are more than merely material beings. And he always brought this matter of the, the spiritual aspect of human nature to people's attention, even when discussing the, the large-scale social issues of the world, uh, you know, international arbitration, peace building, conflict resolution. Because from Abdu'l-Bahá's perspective, all of the, the major problems of the world, war, corruption, oppression, uh, injustice in all its forms, are merely outer symptoms of much deeper problems that are actually going on in people's hearts. Uh, in other words, all these, these uh, problems and conflicts in the world arise out of human beings really being out of touch with our own spiritual nature. And he constantly stressed that really we will never be able to solve these problems in any meaningful way as long as we um, don't actually give due attention to our own spiritual nature because essentially no amount of legislation or administration or policy making can ever actually change people's hearts. So in this talk on world peace, which was really one of the primary talks that he gave on his travels through the West, Abdu'l-Bahá, perhaps to the surprise of the, the delegates at the conference, spoke about the relationship between uh, world peace and the Holy Spirit. And this term, the Holy Spirit, I think in, in today's world, it's a term that some people don't really like this term, because, maybe because of certain associations that they might have with that term. But I think that when Abdu'l-Bahá used this term, the Holy Spirit, I think he was, he was describing that um, deep impulse that comes to us to do the right thing for the right reasons and brings to us a feeling of genuine, unconditional love for humanity. And I, I really, I think that for Abdu'l-Bahá, the Holy Spirit simply was, it simply represented the highest form of love. And he always asserted that um, without cultivating genuine, universal love for humanity, we will never really be able to build any lasting form of world peace because as he said love is greater than peace for peace is founded upon love love is the objective point of peace and peace is an outcome of love until love is attained peace cannot be Hi there, I'm doing these short videos throughout 2021 in honour of the centenary of the passing of Abdu'l-Bahá, whose writings are the basis of my new album, Home of Light, which is coming out one song at a time throughout the year. All these short stories come from this book, Vignettes from the Life of Abdu'l-Bahá, by Anna-Marie Honnold, and I hope these little anecdotes give us some glimpses into Abdu'l-Bahá's life during this special year. Also, if you'd like a copy of the album, since Home of Light has been made through the support of so many friends around the world, I've decided to give it away as a gift on behalf of everybody who helped to make it. So if you'd like to receive the album, you can sign up at my website, lukeslop.com. It's linked in the description below. And in November, prior to the centenary itself, you'll receive the album as a gift in celebration of Abdu'l-Bahá's life. So I appreciate if you hit the like and subscribe buttons. And if you'd like to hear the story behind the album, you can check out my podcast, A Story of Light, also linked in the description below.